question says, suppose the relevant money demand curve is the one labeled MD sub 1. Also, suppose the economy's real GDP is 20,000 for the year. If the money market is in equilibrium, then how many times per year is the typical dollar bill used to pay for a newly produced good or service? So let's start off by defining that last statement. How many times per year is the typical dollar bill used to pay for a newly produced good or service? That is talking about velocity. And velocity is just the no how many times that the money is changing hands. So my dollar bill goes to this person, which goes to that person, which goes to that person. Now, you might jump to the conclusion, well, that's pretty darn simple. All I gotta do is just plug it into this equation here, and I'm on my way. Well, no, 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 no. It, it's, not, it's not as simple as that. It's a little bit trickier than that. It's a deceiving question. So what we have to first understand is the velocity equation. Yes, we're on the right track. The velocity equation is what we want to use. But do you understand what each component of the velocity equation represents? So V is the velocity of money. P is the price level or the GDP deflator. Y is the quantity of output or the real GDP. And when we multiply P and Y, we get the nominal value of output. So let's see what we've been given. We've been given the real GDP. We're trying to solve for the velocity here. We know the money, qu the quantity of money, and we know that this, this should be our price level, right? That is not right. There is this hidden y axis right here, and this axis is the price level, P. Then what the heck is this axis right over here? Well, this axis turns out to be the value of money, and we represent that with 1 over P. So it's a little tricky. So first of all, we do have to find the equilibrium point because we're talking about MD1. And we know that right here, we have to punch through and hit right here. So if we want to find what the real price level is, we'll do 1 over P, which is equal to 1 over 0.5, which is equal to 2. This is the value for P. This is what we're going to use. So we'll go ahead and plug in the velocity equation, 2 times 20,000 divided by the money, the quantity of money, which is this value right here, 5,000. And if we solve for this, we get that the answer is C. 